North Korea has fired another short-range missile from its eastern coast, the third weapons test in just over a week. Let's get more on this now. We can speak to Melissa Hannum, Deputy Director of the Open Nuclear Network. She's in Denver, Colorado right now. Melissa, thank you very much for your time. President Trump says he's not that bothered about this. He'd only be bothered about long-range missiles or nuclear missiles. What do you reckon? So it's a, a tough challenge. North Korea, as the president said, never uh, agreed to uh, halt launching anything less than an intercontinental ballistic missile. However, short-range missiles do pose a threat not only to the U.S.'s ally South Korea, but U.S. forces deployed in South Korea as well. Um, the, um, you know, some of these missiles are nuclear capable, and that means that they should be taken very seriously. So what message do you think North Korea is trying to send and what are the implications of it? So there's a technical component as well as a political component. On the technical side, this is still a relatively new missile system. It's only been tested since May of this year. And so it is not unusual for a country to have multiple tests in order to best better understand its capabilities. But even more than the missile itself is the way that a military unit deploys it in the field. And so what I suspect has been happening over the last few weeks is that uh, they've been drilling with a military unit in order to understand how rapidly a unit can deploy this missile and South Korea's reaction to it. It's pretty clear, isn't it, that uh, North Korea wants to see the reunification of the peninsula on its own terms. It sees these kind of military demonstrations as leverage. I guess this is also being seen, isn't it, as a reaction to the joint uh, exercises, military exercises coming up very soon. Yes, North Korea regularly uh, is upset about these joint exercises, and there's already been a kind of kerfuffle about whether the exercises were promised to be halted or not. So it is indeed very upset that these exercises are ongoing. In addition, uh, UN Security Council has been meeting to discuss some of these short-range rocket launches. And so between both of these two types of events, it's very likely that North Korea is seeking to send a political message. So thank you very much.